Whoa! <laughs> oh, did you feel that? Yeah. Holy cow, it's still going? Yeah, it's good. Olivia, that was an earthquake! All right, so I know you've probably heard about the earthquakes that have happened here in the Midland area just here recently. So what's actually going on? Why are they happening so much? And we actually had the fourth largest earthquake in the history of Texas just last year. And so we're gonna be talking about all of that. How does that affect real estate? In this video right here, stay tuned. I know when you think of Midland, Texas, Earthquakes are probably not the first thing that you think of, and you're probably not thinking about the ground shaking underneath you uh, whenever you move to this area. But we actually had 187 earthquakes in 2022. Not all of those were actually like strong earthquakes, but a lot of those you usually feel. And it's not uncommon for us to get earthquakes, but like I said, most of the time you're walking around doing whatever, and they are so mild that you really don't even feel them. Most of the time that you're gonna feel an earthquake is usually at night, at least that's when I feel them is at night. I'm laying down in bed and you hear the house and normally it's just like a, like a pop, like a loud pop or something like that and you know, okay, that was probably an earthquake. So whenever you think about it, 180 earthquakes a year, that actually comes out to about 16 earthquakes a month. Wow, that is just crazy, right? But like I said, most of these earthquakes you don't even feel. It's just the big ones that are really gonna start to have you questioning things and on what you need to do. Just last year, in December, we had a 5.4 magnitude earthquake here in Midland. And that actually caused a lot of people to have a little bit of concern, right? Because a 5.4, magnitude earthquake isn't just a little bit of a shake or a little bit of a pop. Now, to be actually honest with you, before this 5.4 magnitude earthquake and the other earthquake that was between four and five uh, magnitude as well, I honestly did not even think about earthquakes that much. Like, yes, I knew they were happening, I knew they were going on, but until you have one that is of that magnitude, that's really when you start to think about, okay, I have a house now, what do I need to do to protect my house? And actually where my office is, we're actually in the basement of the building that we work in. So, you know, whenever the building starts shaking, you're like, uh, what am I supposed to do? All right, before we move on to the next point, if you need any help moving in the Midland area, I want you to reach out to me. Any way that you feel comfortable, you can give me a call, shoot me a text, an email, we can jump on a Zoom, or you can even comment on this video down below. All of my contact info is in the description. All right, so there's been a lot of speculation on where do these earthquakes actually come from, right? Because really that's the next question you're gonna ask is, where do they actually come from? And so I don't know if anybody knows exactly what is going on or where they actually come from, but some of the speculation is that it's coming from the uh, injection sites, some of the injection wells, uh, that some of the oil companies have whenever they're putting its disposal water, which is a product from drilling on the oil wells. Uh, kind of the concept behind that is that you have these fault, we have these fault lines in the earth, right? And when you shoot this water back into the ground, it kind of lubricates those, those fault lines and then you get like a shift in, the, uh, in those plates and that's what's, what's causing the earthquake. The earth is just literally moving whenever they shoot this water back into the ground. And so uh, whenever all this went down, the Railroad Commission who you know, oversees all of the drilling and all of that, they went out and they did some pretty in-depth studies, especially when that strong earthquake came along. And so before that time period, it felt like we were having one every single month. I mean, you could look on the, on the website here and you could see that there was even if it was a minor earthquake, there was at least one every seven days at least. So um, things have kind of slowed down a little bit. So it seems as though they have gotten things under control. We will see how things progress here in the future. Okay, so if you're getting any value from this video, I wanna encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button and then the bell notification. That way you can be notified every time I come out with a new video. Now, if you check the news sites and all of our local publications that have come out, there no major damage 
was uh, found whenever these earthquakes came out. So obviously the smaller earthquakes is they happen and they're not as much of a concern, but when the lar this large earthquake came, everybody was going out doing an analysis of their properties and of even uh, the gas oil and gas infrastructure around as well. And no major instances were found. So everything seems to be totally fine. Now, if you're looking around at real estate, people have seen cosmetic damages uh, on their properties, right? So you might see some bricks that are out of, out of alignment or you know some cracks from settling. But uh, overall, there has not been any major damage from these few, from these uh, major earthquakes that we've had. Now, I took a little bit of time to speak to one of my uh, insurance agents around, around town and was just asking him a little bit about earthquake insurance because now that is a question like how do I protect my house or how do I protect the assets that I have whenever these things happen and obviously the first thing that you think about is insurance because you want to protect what you have and so I would encourage you to give any uh, give your local insurance agent a call speak with them but some of the highlights are is that he said you can actually get um, it's going to depend on the value of the property and what you're insuring, obviously, but uh, you can get uh, earthquake insurance added to your policy fairly cheaply. And then uh, usually it's going to range from a 10 to a 20% deductible, and that's going to be on the value of your house. And so you really got to think about that uh, whenever you're thinking about uh, getting insurance for your home. So if you have a you know $200,000 house, then if you have a 10% deductible, that's gonna be at a minimum, you know, $20,000 just to hit your deductible. And so, like I said, there haven't been a lot of uh, reports of major damage, but that is on a case by case basis. And this is definitely not any insurance advice. What I'm telling you is that you should go out and talk to your uh, insurance agent about what you should do for insurance coverage on your property. So what should you take from all this? What is the final analysis of Midland, Texas and the earthquakes here, right? Well, the thing I say is, man, the last time I remember an earthquake, uh, it was way back in the 90s. Before the last couple of years, it wasn't even on my radar. I just remember we had, it was like five o'clock in the morning back, it was probably like 1995, somewhere in that range. And I woke up and my brother said, man, we had an earthquake and I literally slept through the whole thing. Now, the last major one we had, the 5.4 magnitude earthquake. Now, that one, I was here in my office and there we have a set of blinds in my other office where, and it, it just starts to shake. And I was like, oh man, we're having another earthquake. And they just continued to shake and continued to shake. And I was like, how long is this gonna last? Now I'll tell you for myself, it felt like that the shaking lasted for about five minutes, but it was probably only about 20 seconds. I literally sat there and I said, do I need to run out of the building? Is the building gonna fall in on me? So um, it's a little nerve wracking when you are in um, a major, <laughs> or I guess I'll say a major earthquake. Everybody was calling each other, texting each other. The funniest thing is that when a big earthquake does come, especially here in West Texas, the first text you're gonna get is from someone you know, and guess what it's gonna say? Did you feel that? <laughs> and so you're either gonna text someone or they're gonna text you, did you feel that? Y'all, this is super crazy. I don't know if y'all can see my chandelier or not. It's moving. And then that's when you're gonna know that, uh, yeah, we just had another earthquake. And so the bottom line is, is what I would tell you is that I think Midland is very, very safe. Uh, the Railroad Commission, they are taking pr uh, precautions to make sure that the data and everything that they got together, that we are not having more earthquakes uh, as they did their as they did their analysis. So I think the proper authorities are doing what they need to do in order to make sure that we're safe. All of the buildings obviously are built to code here, or most of the buildings should be uh, built to code. You don't see, you're not seeing a lot of major issues. There are some cosmetic issues that have come up. And so uh, really there's not anything to be, to be worried about. Everything is safe here in Midland. All right, so now that you know that you're safe from earthquakes here in Midland, you're gonna wanna check out this video right here 
to know if it is safe in general to live in the Midland area.